Hey everyone, this is Elephant. YouTube recently got in touch and asked me to contribute 10 tracks to their YouTube audio library. The brief was fairly straightforward. I could create whatever music I liked, just no vocals. I also only had about 30 days to finish the 10 tracks. So at a rate of a track every three days, I had to have really good systems in place for being able to draft ideas quickly and get tracks finished. In this video, I wanna share with you some tips, tricks, and techniques I use to get from a collection of loops and ideas to a finished piece of music. If you're interested in listening to the tracks I've made for the library, I'll include a link in the description. You can download them all for free and use them in your own YouTube videos. One of the most common things I hear from music makers is, I have no problem coming up with ideas, but I just can't finish tracks. It seems that for a lot of music makers, myself included, coming up with ideas is relatively easy. But when it comes time to put those ideas down into an arranged, finished piece of music, it all seems a bit daunting, so we panic and give up. Let's look at a few things you can do to actually help you finish tracks. A common way that many modern music makers come up with ideas is to set up a loop and progressively build up layers of parts. In most software, this might involve setting up a loop region in the arrangement and layering in parts. Or if you're in Ableton Live, then you're probably doing a similar thing by recording loops into the session view. This is a fantastic way of coming up with lots of ideas that work well together. However, the problem is that sometimes what works really well as part of a loop doesn't necessarily work well in a linear arrangement. In my experience, when I do move over to arranging, I often find that a lot of the ideas I'd written in the loop don't end up working, and I write a lot of new parts in the arrangement, or simply get rid of many of the parts I'd written in the loop that don't have a place. For example, in the YouTube audio library track Ravines, if I compare the different versions of the session, you'll see that in version one and version two, I'd written a bunch of loops in the session view and then moved them over to the arrangement, but they weren't really working. So by version three, I'd actually scrapped most of the parts and rewritten almost everything in the arrangement. This was quite a fun way of approaching a song. The only elements that I ended up keeping from the first two versions was the drum beat. So I laid out the drum patterns in the arrangement in a rough song structure, and then filled in parts one at a time, not necessarily even starting at the beginning. Instead of layering parts into a loop, I was layering in parts across the entire song structure. I found this gave me a much better sense of how different parts might progress into one another, and found it a really freeing way to create a track. I'm sure many of you are already working this way, but if you're one of those producers that spends a lot of time writing in loops, give this a go and see if it frees up your writing process. There's still very much a place for writing in the loop, as it is a great way of coming up with parts, but don't spend too much time there. Maybe come up with three or four core ideas and then very quickly start to lay them out in the arrangement and go from there. Another common question that many music makers have is, when do I have enough parts for my song? Unfortunately, the answer to this is really, it depends. It depends on the style you're going for, what instrumentation that style asks for, how long your track is, etc. But there is one answer that I can give to this question, which is, it's probably less than you think. It can be tempting to think that the more parts you have, the better your track will be. But often the opposite is true. Take a listen to a lot of successful music. There's usually not a lot of parts. Going back to our theme of finishing tracks, try focusing on fewer, better parts, and you'll find that it becomes easier to actually finish things. It's a lot easier to deal with 10 tracks than 100. If I flip through all the Ableton sessions from my YouTube audio library tracks, you'll notice that there's not a lot of parts in most of them. The largest track count is 12, and the average is much closer to 10 yet these songs still feel like completed pieces of music. I'm personally quite a minimalist producer, so an average of around 10 tracks is quite small, but you can make incredible pieces of music with a lot less parts than you think. Possibly the single best way to actually finish anything, not just music, is a deadline. Having a specific project to work on with defined deadlines like I did for the YouTube audio library makes this easy. But most of the time, unless you're working with a label who's giving you a release schedule, you won't have any hard deadlines imposed on your music making. And this can make it really difficult to motivate yourself to finish things. This is where you need to get really strict and self-impose deadlines. The trick is to set yourself deadlines that actually have some kind of real world consequences. 
try making yourself accountable to someone else. For example, you could approach a filmmaker or game designer and say you'll make them a soundtrack, and then you're accountable to their deadlines. If you're trying to pull together a live set, actually approach a venue and book a show. There's nothing like getting to the week before a gig and realizing that you have to write a full set's worth of music to motivate you to finish things. A lot of music publishing websites let you set up pre-releases that go live on a certain date. If you've already got a following, you can set up and even start selling an album pre-release before you've written any music. Knowing there's people waiting to hear your music is a great motivator to get you to finish. I also find that having specific projects to work towards helps give you a sense of purpose in your music making. If you work towards a specific end goal, be that an EP, an album, or even something as simple as a single, I find it's much easier to move towards finishing things. The most important thing to remember about deadlines is that they force you to finish things. With anything you do, the more you do it, the better you get at it. So if you're never finishing tracks, you're never getting better at finishing tracks. It can be a difficult thing to know when to be done with a track. Music software makes it far too easy to endlessly tinker with something and never quite be happy. But at some point you just have to be done. One way I like to tell if a track is finished is to hide the DAW and play through the track from beginning to end, just listening. If in a single listen, nothing immediately jumps out at me as an obvious thing to change or add, then the song is probably done. If I do notice something fairly obvious, then I'll make a note of it on a piece of paper and keep listening. When I've listened through the full track, I'll go back and address all the notes, then repeat this process. Eventually I'll listen through and there'll be nothing obvious to change and I know the song is finished. Not looking at your DAW while you're listening is an important part of this because it helps you hear the music more like an impartial listener might. It can also be useful to take a quiet break before listening to reset your perspective, then come back and listen to the full track with a fresh ear. With anything you do, the only way to get better is to just keep doing it and doing it a lot. If you want to get better at finishing tracks, you just need to finish some tracks. Don't worry if at first you're not happy with the results, that's pretty normal. Just keep going and finishing more tracks and you'll keep getting better at it. Hopefully some of the points we've discussed will help you along the way to finishing some of your own music. This is by no means an exhaustive list of ideas, but each of these is something I use in my own music making to help me get to finished pieces of music in a timely fashion. What do you do to help you finish music? What things do you struggle with when it comes to finishing tracks? Let me know in the comments and we can get a discussion going. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then hit subscribe. If you want to support what I do, you can head over to my website where you'll find a ton of great resources for Ableton Live. I'll include a link in the description. Also a reminder that you can download all 10 of my YouTube audio library tracks for free at the link in the description of the video. This has been Elephant, thanks for watching.